December the 1st, 2023. Guys, we made it through another month, almost through another year. Can you believe it? What we're looking at this morning is a chart that represents what we saw out throughout the night. A couple of overlays here and things like that. But uh, what they're saying, and we saw this spike right here last night in the video, and it was starting to rise into this spike. And we, that's when we were seeing over 500 kilometers per second. Then it drifts along, the, and a lot of most people thought this was the impact of that. But we were wrong because as it went on through the day up until about 900, oh, 900 hours right here, UTC time, which would have been around 4 a.m. this morning. This Guys, and we'll take a look at uh, space weather very quickly here. Your solar wind is still over a million miles an hour at 517.6 kilometers per second. And the density is about four times normal at 10.80 protons uh, centimeters cubed. Now, the chart we looked at at the beginning was a few hours old after it was put together. But here's the current information. We've got spikes in our solar wind. Uh, there's 562. That's probably the highest one. And then in your proton density, guys, we are 15s, 13s. And the very last right in here, guys, 11.61. That's what we just saw. The last information coming from the solar wind, 510 there. And a couple of very low drops. We may be on the decline. And then in the temperature, it, it also is right at the uh, edge of dropping down the temperature, the solar wind speed, and the density all are seeing a drop. We may be very near the end of that second wave. And guys, as a reminder, you're looking at the LEAP project. This is Rex Bear's YouTube channel, very large channel, very popular. A lot of great information here that covers just about any subject that can, you can think of. But at 11.30 this morning, Central Time, we're going to go live with Rex, and he's going to have, I think, a Hopi elder with him as we talk about the events that I experienced back 10 years ago in November, and that was the 16 UFOs that flew right over my head. I could count them. They were basically 100 feet high. It was very impressive. Caught me off guard, uh, but I'll never forget it. But thousands of people saw the same thing that I saw or parts of the same event that I saw and it was recorded on the channel 12 or excuse me CBS News there in Phoenix the next morning I got up and checked it out I'll never forget what I saw and what led up to that remember if you were following the channel for the last well 10 years ago let's say I was doing different videos one of the series was on Dulcie and you remember the guy Phil Snyder that said he had helped build these underground bases and actually been in battle with some of the things that were there. And my plan was to go to Dulce, but we ended up going to Phoenix first to see our sons and grandkids. Our son was at Luke Air Force Base in Phoenix at that time. But uh, we're going to go into detail on it. You guys have heard me tell the story before, but now I think this is going to be a little different because we're going to have, again, the Hopi Elder, Rex's information and knowledge, and I think it's just going to be a good show. Again, 11.30 Central, 10.30 on the East Coast. That's going to be 9.30 Mountain, 8.30 all the way on the West Coast, if I'm not mistaken. But again, 10.30 Eastern, 11.30 Central, 9.30 Mountain. And you can figure out where you're at in between those times. But uh, I'll put a link in the video below, or you can just go to Leak Project on YouTube. Many of you have watched a lot of his shows. Looking forward to... Uh, this event guys I think a lot of information may come out I'm hoping it will because it's been kind of annoying at me for uh, the last 10 years to get to talk to someone that may have more knowledge of what I was told was the Hopi flying shields and that goes way back guys and a lot of people will say BP you saw falling angels with that technology and evil demons and all that but to say that you haven't read the Old Testament about the book of Elijah. Remember, Elijah was surrounded by enemies. They wanted to capture him because he was giving the king of Israel their all of their plans, the battle plans. They, they couldn't do anything without the king being told by Elijah what they were going to do. Well, they, captured, they planned to capture Elijah and his young protege. They surrounded him. In the morning, they came out of whatever they were staying in on that hill, and the chariots had surrounded them. The young protege was 
shaking in his boots. Elijah prayed to God to open the veil, and when he did, they looked out, and behind the enemy they were surrounded by were the chariots of fire of God. They blinded the enemy, remember that. So all chariots of fire are not evil, so just take that, study it, and realize what we're dealing with here. You think God would give or allow the fallen angels to have technology that was superior to his army? I don't think so. But guys, uh, go here, Leap Project. I'll put a link below to his channel. You can go there, subscribe, and be ready for it. He usually does a couple shows a day, so it's always something interesting there. I really appreciate I think he's the hardest working person on YouTube. Very well done shows, very consistent, again, day after day. But we're going to be there. You guys come and watch it, and this is a heads up. Be safe.